Mark Goldbridge went from being a police officer to a football powerhouse with over 5 million YouTube subscribers in less than a decade. In 2022, his career reached heights very few football YouTubers will ever experience. He became a host for TalkSport and managed a team in a charity game that involved Mr. Beast, I Show Speed, and other famous influencers. A year later, he held his first ever live shows with a united stand across three cities in the UK. By every metric, it looks like he's killing it. But as his fame has grown, something else has grown alongside it. His ego. Over the past year or so, there have been countless moments where Goldbridge has been dismissive of other people's opinions. He often acts as if he is the one who knows everything when it comes to football. Most examples of this happen when he told Manchester United legends to shut up for giving their opinion on the club's managerial issues. Controversies have always surrounded Mark Goldbridge, but it seems now to have reached mainstream media. Before we get into it, it is important to understand how he became Mark Goldbridge and built his football media empire. The story starts in December 2014 when Mark Goldbridge started a YouTube channel named Soccerbox TV, providing videos on Premier League match previews, transfer news, and predictions. Only two years later, he got tired of it and decided to take his fan love to the next level, switching his content to post-match reactions and posting real fan-opinionated content from Manchester United fans. Marking a new beginning of online punditry, this became one of YouTube's biggest football fan channels. Over the years, the United Stand has gathered more than 1.1 billion views, boasting over 1.74 million YouTube subscribers. The channel concept was well received by the public because traditional media and their own clubs pretty much ignore football fans. To football clubs, it seems their fans' opinions don't matter, despite the fact that they are the soul of any club. However, as the channel became bigger, several controversies started. Just like Robbie of AFTV, Mark Goldbridge has come under fire as one of the hosts of the biggest fan cams in the world. Many people think these fan cams should use their positions to provide fans with a unified platform for their voices to be heard. However, the reality is very different. Many believe fan cams prioritize clicks and reach rather than quality content. Of course, given that Goldbridge founded his channel and does the work of keeping it alive, he is well within his rights to worry about reach. But by using dramatics, scapegoating, and wrongful tactical analysis to get millions of followers, he has turned many people against him. Goldbridge has been called out for running agendas against several United players just to drive channel growth and build his own cult. Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw have been the most consistent victims of his senseless targeting in recent years. He was in favor of Maguire joining Man United, but as soon as the players started making mistakes, Goldbridge blamed him for almost every Man United defeat. 80 million pounds were paid for him. 80 million pounds for his aerial ability and he heads the ball like a bloody balloon. Useless. Absolutely bloody useless. Some fans had enough of this behavior and clearly felt the need to speak their mind. A fan didn't hold back and posted this. Are they taking the piss? Mark Goldbridge is responsible for 90% of the hate Harry Maguire gets on here. And when you think you've seen it all, the next post aimed at Goldbridge shared similar feelings. Finally, someone has put Mark Goldbridge in his place. That waste of space is responsible for a lot of the abuse players receive here. The abuse of Rashford in 21 was off the back of Goldbridge constantly having a go. Same with De Gea and Maguire. He spreads so much hate. Goldbridge has also been accused of promoting toxic fans on his United Stand channel, citing an example in Ricky, whose full name is Richard Rowe, and his son had been charged to court where they admitted to money laundering. Both of them had been touting tickets for football matches and had done more than $600,000 in illegal transactions. Another example most people point to is Rance, who held a more regular role on the channel. He was pushing the narrative that Manchester United had only appointed Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because he was white. He felt that Solskjaer was not qualified for the job, despite the fact that Sir Alex Ferguson himself had recommended Solskjaer. The backlash was huge. Goldbridge had to take action and fire him. Consequently, Rance promptly removed any affiliation with the United Stand from all his social media profiles. However, over the years, the channel has also witnessed the departure of its most iconic members, Rance, Saeed, Aaron, Sophie, Flex, and KG. 
making people think the vibes behind the scene were not always cheerful. While some of these other ex-employees didn't reveal the reason for their exit, Rance and Saeed felt they were pushed out of the channel after they had contributed immensely to its growth. Saeed wasn't keeping quiet, and neither was Rance, who left after making controversial racial comments. After leaving, new videos started to come up where Rance was exposing Goldbridge as racist. Which comes from your racism, why you think that he played well. You know them ones there. Mm. So that's what I mean. When Mark thinks that Luke Shaw, he's got this unconscious bias here towards Luke Shaw, because Luke Shaw's white, bruv. It's, he does. He does have that unconscious bias towards him, bruv, because Luke Shaw's rubbish, bro. And I've done the show and I've got the numbers out. Then another video came out featuring Saeed and Rance with the title Rance and Saeed Expose Mark Goldbridge and the United Stand. Clearly, these two wanted the online community to be aware of the fact that Goldbridge took advantage of his talents for personal gain. Saeed even called out his former boss a culture vulture. The toxic atmosphere around the United Stand did not stop there. Aside from the alleged issues these ex-United Stand employees had with Goldbridge, there were suggestions that the controversial rants from the United Stand members are instrumental to the rise of this toxic culture around the club. Some Man United fans behave similarly to the United Stand hosts. They abuse players on social media just after the game. It does not matter if the game ended in a victory for Man United, someone has to be blamed for something. However, it has not been all doom and gloom for Mark Goldbridge. Quite the contrary. The United Stand channel made him a millionaire, and once he's completely understood the channel concept, he replicated it by creating other channels. The That's Football channel that covers every football game and controversies and the Mark Goldbridge That's Entertainment, which is for gaming and general commentary about things outside football. To get more credibility, he has become involved with traditional media, delivering sports commentary on platforms besides YouTube, and as a writer, delivering articles on Man United related news at Paddy Power News. He has also appeared on TalkSport and other big football podcasts, like The Kickoff and the Fozcast Ben Foster Podcast. This has caused many former players and fans to be jealous of him. As his influence became bigger, he was constantly accused of being a fake Manchester United fan. What has given some breath to this theory is the fact that Goldbridge himself had said he was born to a footballing family. He grew up in Nottingham supporting the local team and even went to watch them play. In an attempt to discredit those who say he's not a genuine fan, he explains that it was his granddad who made him love Man United. Fans, however, were not having it, with one saying, isn't this the guy who's actually a Forest supporter before he started his United fan channel? It wasn't just fans who noticed this, Goldbridge was accused by former Man United players of pretending to be a Man United fan because they have a huge fan base, so it'll be easier to earn more money from his content. One such example was former Manchester United defender Paul Parker, who said this about Goldbridge. He has no relationship to Man United. He's a Nottingham Forest fan. It's an incredible skill to do that, actually, to make money on the back of something you don't like. Parker also mentioned that the United Standman was constantly attacking the club, which was causing problems within the squad. Something many will agree with, including Marcus Rashford, who blasted the channel for spreading what he termed malicious rumors about him. The channel uploaded a video with a thumbnail containing a picture of Rashford and the words, What's next? And the post was captioned, Rashford's future in doubt? They probably didn't expect it to be accused of spreading rumors by the player himself. Many fans see this as an example of the channel using false information for clickbait without giving any thought to how this may affect the team they claim to love. Goldbridge would give more fans more reason to question his motives when he posted this on X. British players leaking against Ten Hag to the men again. And not Rashford, by the way. Fans found it odd that he had to post that during a time when the club was trying to deal with leaked dressing room information to several media outlets, allegedly done by some players. In fact, Sports Bible titled their article, Mark Goldbridge knows who the Man United leaker is after latest anti-Eric Ten Hag reports. This definitely didn't help Goldbridge's case, not in the least, as you can imagine. He later posted a video to say he doesn't believe that there was any leak and that the media outlets were looking for something to pounce on. Whether this action appeased the fans is left to debate. A number of Man United fans are on the fence when it comes to Goldbridge. Goldbridge knows how to play the game. 
Sometimes he can say reasonable things that all fans agree with and sometimes spread the worst opinion. He will openly contradict himself if there is money to be made. The reason he is loved by rivals fans. For example, a Liverpool fan posted this about him. Mark Goldbridge is one of the only people with a voice that's heard by many speaking truth and sense regarding this PGMOL situation. Perfect example of someone putting hate for your rivals aside for the sake of football. It's so refreshing and good to see. Fair play to him. Goldbridge is smart. He owns a football channel covering all clubs. So it has to be more neutral and even defend rivals fans if he wants to make more money. Consequently, he has burnt bridges with some Man United fans for good. You cannot be a Man United fan and defend Liverpool all the time. What can't be debated, however, is how Goldbridge became a meme for rival fans after Man United's embarrassing defeats. There's an entire page on X dedicated to his theatrics, especially from his live watch-alongs. Man United fans know the consequences of those memes, especially if the channel in question is so big. Football fans engage in a bit of banter, and nobody wants to be at the receiving end of jokes, especially after some bad games. Many Man United fans don't appreciate being laughed at for supporting their club because of the way the United Stand crew behave on social media. Another huge controversy is that fans don't appreciate him telling former players to shut up, or that their views do not represent what the fans want. Goldbridge took a few minutes on TalkSpot to tear into legends of the club, including Roy Keane, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and even Cristiano Ronaldo for making their opinions known. Despite its huge presence online, the United Stand founder is not speaking for every fan of the club. He is relentless, but most of it is literally just him talking to himself via live commentary. And as a result, everything is viewed through his lens. Like this comment by a fan. No. To me, the United Stand is the Man United version of AFTV. The AFTV to whom they are being compared has been in so much controversy. Even the club they claim to be a fan channel for has completely distanced itself from them. Another fan stated, Mark is hit and miss. His views can be reactionary, sensationalist, and biased at times. I disagree with many things he says, but he is definitely an entertainer. Clearly, some Man United fans don't particularly take Goldbridge seriously. However, one thing you can't downplay is how Goldbridge uses his channel to give several charities the exposure they need. He raised money for Marie Curie. In September 2022, he was even invited to be one of the team managers for the Sideman charity match. And for the 2023 Sideman charity match, he was back again as manager of the YouTube All-Star team. Goldbridge has clearly built himself an impressive personal brand that makes him one of the most important sources regarding Man United. And despite the controversial rise of the United stand, it still averages over 22 million views per month. And that's just one channel of the many he owns. In this game against haters, Mark Goldbridge has clearly won.